Hi guys, welcome. My name is Deanna and I am a Lego Harry Potter fanatic. <laughs> Today we are going to be reviewing the Lego Clock Tower build. Oh. This bad boy was $89.95 and Lego is killing the game. There are so many cool scenes in this one set. It took me about three hours to do and it's just over 900 pieces. Fun fact. The clock tower does not exist in any of the Harry Potter books. It is first shown in the movie Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, but this set is from Goblet of Fire, and we know it's from Goblet of Fire based on the details. We have Madame Maxine, Victor Crumb, This entire little piece is clearly meant to be from the Yule Ball, which, if you remember correctly, it's actually held in the Great Hall. They totally transform it. But look at how cool this is. So that's Hermione working it in her sweet, sweet dress with her fancy hair, and it's like the first time anyone realizes she's a hottie. That's Floor and Cedric, because everyone always knew that they were always hotties, so we don't have to worry about that. But look at how cool this is that there's all these little toggles so that they can actually dance. Lego, how you do this, Lego? Straight killing it. This piece has the prefect bathroom in it. We know it's the prefect bathroom because of this window. The window gets oh. a lot of screen time in the movies. It's also mentioned in the books many times. Check that out, right? Doesn't that look like a nice place to take a bath with a golden egg? And I'm pretty sure this is meant to be Dumbledore's office. I think that because this is the pensive, right? Oh, right there. That's the pensive. And then that's the sword of Gryffindor, which we do know is kept in Dumbledore's office. However, 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 Dumbledore's office is actually in the headmaster's tower, which is its own building entirely. And the prefix bathroom is on the fifth floor behind a statue of Boris the Bewildered. It would have been cool if we had gotten a statue of Boris the Bewildered, but I will take the stained glass window because it is absolutely beautiful. We have, or at least I'm pretty positive, that is the Goblet of Fire right there. It does blue flames when it's spitting out a name, but I like the color blue, so it's totally cool that Lego kept that blue the whole time. I'm pretty sure this is Mad-Eye Moody's office and I think this one because literally it says Moody on that chalkboard right it says Moody one of the first things he does in his first lesson is he takes out three spiders and he uses the unforgivable curses on all three spiders and he keeps them in something similar to this in both the movies and the books uh that's also one of those things so that he the looking glass so that he knows when people who are deceptive are around him which is really kind of cool that they actually included that Oh, and then this is the hospital wing. Again, the hospital wing is actually on the fourth floor, so a little inconsistency going on here. Mad-Eye Moody's office would, of course, be the Defense Against the Dark, dark Arts Teacher's <coughs> Office. And again, that doesn't actually exist in the clock tower, but look at how stunning this clock tower is. And I can turn the handles. Isn't that awesome? So yeah, that's a whole mechanical gizmo going on right there. Man, Lego, I can't. Lego just absolutely killed this. So these little connectors here, you see a connector, you see a connector. These pieces are all gonna attach together. Oop. And you can just see how absolutely stunning it is. All of those stickers add so much detail whether it's just like a brick or, for instance, that Mad-Eye Moody chalkboard we were just talking about. But it's crazy how beautiful this is. And if you are a Harry Potter fan, then you know Goblet of Fire is a Christmas movie. I watch Goblet of Fire when I decorate my tree every year. I don't care if that was a weird thing to tell you. I just told you. 
I'm not like other girls. He. It's a Christmas movie because of the Yule Ball. Everyone knows that the Yule Ball is Christmas. Can we talk about how movie realistic Ron and Harry's hair is? They had horrible hair in Goblet of Fire. I think that's like a teen thing in general. That's just the age when you do really bad things with your hair. But I love that the Lego figurines really did that justice, right? Because they could have just been totally basic, but instead you've got horrible hair. And that makes me really happy. All in all, this set was a joy to build. I felt like I was building things the entire time as opposed to waiting for it to turn into something. It was always something. And I do really like all the scenes that are included, even though my Harry Potter fanatic heart says that they're in the wrong locations. It's really cool that Lego was able to provide these scenes regardless of like the fact that the location isn't entirely true to book or true to movie for that matter. But when else would we have seen the hospital wing, right? Thanks so much for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe. Once again, my name is Deanna, and I thank you for coming. Bye. Yeah.